Hey guys and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey and here we are in Ruined Kingdom and it is looking pretty freaky and despite the fact that it looks pretty scary Mario still manages to have a little nod off dude wake up we've got some dragons to kill so we're just going to jump into the action but make sure you hit that subscribe and like button and we will see what's going on in this crazy kingdom so it's pretty dark it's pretty shadowy there's kind of all sorts flying around. Uh, the Odyssey is in a bad way after a minor altercation with Bowser and we are just going to head up this path and see what we can see. So we're just kind of taking out those little bumps in the road and picking up the coins and again just taking out these weird little markers that are in the ground and they will give you some coins. So nothing amazing, nothing wonderful just yet, uh, but this game is a stunner. So we're expecting a little bit more later on, especially after the cutscene that we've just seen as a part of the Bowser altercation. So we're just gonna go under here and creep on around to grab a few coins along the way and that will help our telly. And we've also got a little crate to pick up, which gives us our first power moon. Okay, so we're off the blocks when it comes to the moons, and you can see in the top left hand corner that we only need three moons in total, so that means another two moons. Now there's another one of the blocks down there, uh, but we can't really do a great deal with that, so we're just gonna head on up and around. So if you just kind of like uh, sidle across, head down, and uh, have a little look you can't really get anything down there so it's not worth going down there so we're just going to keep going up this path and we're going to take out these little blocks along the way and there's yet another one at the top and it looks like we've hit a dead end however when you take this out of the equation we get an electricity wire to travel up so just buzz on up as cappy and you will find yourself at the top of this kind of mad tower and you will be facing the dragon straight away. So this is apparently the Lord of Lightning and it's easy to see why as he fires out some spinning lightning bolts at you. And then he also does it a second time. Now luckily these first waves are pretty easy to get out of the way of. But after that he smashes his head down and fires out these little waves across the floor which you need to jump over. And once it's done that it gets a little bit tired so it gives you a chance to take out these chains and take out a little bit of a hit on its head. So that is the first hit and the Lord of Lightning is pretty incensed. So it goes back to its attack again so it's going to fire out more of these spinning discs. There's a few more in this wave but again they're relatively easy to get around so just kind of dodge out of their way and head through the middle and once again it will fire its head down into the ground and it's just a case of jumping over these waves these energy lightning waves and they're relatively easy in the second wave too but there are a few more of these pins to take out so there is a total of four in the second wave and you can just about do them all in that first go however things get a little bit trickier in the final wave now because there are a lot more spinning discs for you to avoid so there are loads and loads and they're really coming after you so you really need to bob weave dodge left right to get out of their way so we're just going to show you that again in a little bit of a slower motion so that you can see what we're doing there to get out of the way so we're just sort of pulling one to the right there and then we're going to head back in to get out of the second one while carrying on to get past the third and then retracing our steps back for the fourth and fifth and that clears the decks and allows us to move on to the next attack which is its shock waves now again they're much more difficult in this final wave because they come out in little closer packets so you kind of the first one's really easy but the second one you really need to do a double jump so as soon as you land press jump straight away and again here and there you can see just about avoiding the lightning now there are a lot more chains for you to pull out in its head it's kind of a weird way for you to defeat uh, a dragon but you know you can't you can't rationalize bowser you don't know what he's thinking uh, so just kind of get them out out as many as you can that first go and uh, and wait for its second wave where it's gonna fire out just as many spinning discs so here again you just got to dodge and weave to get out of their way so head left right left right as much as you can to get out of their way and kind of try and watch where they're coming so you know where to turn 
And again, you've got to do some really quick double jumping to get out of the way of that lightning. And you've got the three final pins in the dragon's head to be able to kind of unleash your final hit. And that clears the Lord of Lightning and you can just get in the final hit and finish it off to pick up the moon. So good effort guys, if you've been able to follow along but that doesn't quite finish our walkthrough. Now we've got enough moons to be able to move on to the next kingdom, but we kind of want to be able to get a few more here while we're here. So if you kind of want to just head off straight to the next kingdom, you can do, uh, but we're just going to head in uh, and straight back up to where the dragon's still lying. You know, he's still there. He's, he's apparently tired when you get there. You kind of have a chat with him and he's just like, oh, I'm just tired guys. I'm just going to hang out here. Uh, anyway, so once you get back up here, here we're just going to spin around and try to uh, try to get these blocks to see whether it gives us anything uh, but as it turns out it looks like it's just coins so kind of just going around and getting those little uh, little sort of indentations little ground pound areas so you can see the dragon there just kind of it's kind of cool because its eyes kind of follow you it's kind of weird when you jump on his head they're really kind of they it's like the pupils dilate and actually see you uh, which we'll show you in a little second. So you can kind of head straight back up to the dragon and have a little chat with it when it says, so tired. Uh, so it's just that it's a tired little dragon now. <laughs> it's like a pet. Uh, I, I, it's a shame you can't just jump on its back, take Cappy out and take control of it and have a little spin around ruined, uh, ruined kingdom. Uh, but you can jump on its back and have a little walk around. Now there's not really anything that we've seen all that great apart from instant death by falling down its back. So we're just going to head back in and go through this rocket blast, which will take us through to another couple of moon challenges. Now here it's 2D action and it's a little bit weird because it's a mix of 2D and 3D where you have to press these buttons to stop those switches in the right place. Now as you can see it's not so easy to do and each time you have to reset it using this switch and each time you reset it it moves a little bit quicker. So you can see there it's moving a little bit quicker now and we've managed to stop it on the right one. So then you just head in and move on to the next level. So you just go through the pipe. There's nothing else kind of around here. So it's, it's always good to have a little look around, head through the pipe and move on. So when you eventually find yourself in this place, uh, you'll need to get this uh, Cooper Trooper to fire in that direction because you can then follow it around and wait for it to give you a chance to get through here. So when it smashes all of those out of the way, you can just head on down and come out of the pipe here. Now obviously these are moving so you can't get them, so you've got to go out and do the switches once again. Now again, these are really finickety, especially when there's two to do. It takes a while. You're gonna, you're gonna try this a fair few times before you get it right. So there we go, that's the first one, and we've got the second one. Obviously we've tried that a number of times to be able to get it, uh, but that will give you the first of the power moons in the rocket. So we're just gonna pick up one more moon while we're here. So you've just gotta retrace your steps back through and you'll eventually find yourself here in this area where you'll need to press three buttons at once. And again, the more times you have to reset the clock, the quicker these buttons go. So it is much better to try to get it exactly right the first time, but it is tricky. It's a good idea to be as close as possible to the button without touching it before you activate it, and, uh, and that will help you to, uh, to sort of get them in the right place. Now we haven't got them exactly perfect to pick up the coins, but to be honest, we don't really care about the coins all that much, and it was starting to get a little bit tiresome sort of doing the pressing of the buttons and jumping around and da 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 da. It's just a bit annoying. So we've just got it the way it is, and we've picked up the moon roulette tower climb, and that gives us a total of six for Ruined Kingdom. And we're gonna call it a day at that. So we're gonna head back in the little rocket, head back through the lightning bolt, and we're gonna go back to the Odyssey. Uh, so you just kind of head back down here and the Odyssey's just down there looking a little bit worse for wear. But luckily it only needs four more moons to be able to power up and we've now got a total of six. So now you can just jump up here, fire up the Odyssey and it is back being repaired and ready for the next kingdom, which is Bowser Kingdom. 
and we're going to pick up here next time guys. So for now that is the end of our walkthrough for Ruined Kingdom and taking on the Dragon Boss. Hopefully you've been able to follow along with us and thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more great videos and more of our Super Mario Odyssey walkthrough and hit that like button guys. If you've got any questions about that level or any of the levels in Super Mario Odyssey add them in the comments below. Cheers, goodbye.